welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to diagnose a flashing ABS light like the one shown in front of you. Before we get started, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Let's get going. So when you turn your key on and then your ABS lights are flashing together like they are right now, that's totally normal. And then when you start your bike, after you reach five miles an hour, those lights will go out and you'll hear your ABS pump do a little self-test, kind of make a little clunk or like a little whirring noise. That's totally normal. After you reach that five miles an hour, that's the ABS pump doing a little self-test and all it's registering is the both front and rear wheel speed is the exact same. Everything checks out and, now, and your ABS will then function properly. But if you start your bike, And then they start alternating like this. That usually means there's an issue. So normally you'd have to take it to the dealership and they would plug it into their scan tool and charge you a couple hundred bucks. But today I'm going to show you how to do this with nothing but just the road. Turn the key back on, wait till our lights flash um, together like that, and then we're gonna jump start our bike by just releasing the clutch. And then you'll hear the ABS. So now we have no more ABS lights. Both our ABS lights are out and our ABS functions properly. So what we just diagnosed is that we have a low voltage supply to the battery. So when we crank our bike with the electric start, it draws too much power and it doesn't allow the ABS pump to do its self-test. So instead of using reserve battery power to feed your ABS pump, it in instead starts your bike as priority. So how we did that again, without me moving, is we are coasting in second gear at about 30 miles an hour. We then squeezed our clutch in. While we're squeezing the clutch in with our left hand, with our right hand, we then turn the key off, let the bike uh, totally shut down. We turn the key back on, waited for our two ABS lights to start flashing together and then we released the clutch lever abruptly which then bump started the motorcycle without use of the starter button so we didn't have that draw from the starter. So I'll show you one more time beginning to end. So we'll turn our key on. Both lights are blinking together like you see right there. We start our bike and then they start blinking, alternate, alternately blinking, just like that. So what we're gonna do is get it up to about 30 miles an hour in second gear, with our clutch in, turn our key off with our right hand, and then turn the key back on, and then bump start the bike. So let's get it up to speed and I'll show you. So now we're in second gear. I'm gonna squeeze the clutch in with my left hand, with my right hand, turn the key off, turn the key on, wait for our ABS lights to blink like that, all while still holding the clutch lever in. Then I'm gonna release the clutch lever and start the bike. So you'll hear our ABS do its self-test here. Heard it click right there, and now the lights went out. So what that's telling me is that we need a new battery because our battery must have a dead cell and can't supply the bike with enough voltage to power the ABS pump and start the bike at the same time. 